Right, hello everyone. Just going to do um, an update on how the shower's getting on. It's been up for Saturday for three days. It's producing um, quite a lot of foam. So I don't know if that's protein foam or just bubbling. And quite a lot of froth is going into the little basket and the skimmer as well. But don't class that as a problem. Had to clean the fleece out once. That was Monday. So today I'm going to get up there and see what it looks like. It's now uh, Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday, sorry. So we'll get up there and we'll film that and see what condition it's like. Right, so it's not as dirty. Obviously, because it's um, been cleaned. Uh, not yesterday, I said Monday night it was cleaned on the Sunday. Oh, so here it is. Doing its job. Picking up the tines. Got a little gap there. In case it gets clogged, and the water can still get down it. The only problem with this fleece, I don't know if it's um, the right thickness, but it's getting stuck to the ceramic, so when I try and take it out to clean it, the ceramic stones get caught on the underside and come out with it. The baby tears, I called it baby breath, it's not, it's baby tears. Um, obviously some of it's died back, but it's still alive. Now the flow, we're still debating. A couple of people mentioned that the slower the better, and then other people say the faster the better. Now, we're not going to use it as a biological filter, so I think it should be faster so that the water bashes on the ceramics like um, a fast flowing stream or waterfall but we'll do some more research on that and decide whether we're going to get a different pump or not different flow rate but at the minute everything's working fine as you can see over there we've redone the decor changed it around a bit with some fish plaques that Chris has made. We've still got to cap off the top when we get round to it. But other than that, the back of the shower is running. So the fish are doing really well. No issues there. Eating like crazy, non stop. Temperature of the pond today, no idea because the temperature, <laughs> the um, thermometer's not there. Wonder where that's gone. So there's the back. Looking good. Let's have a look at the um, skimmer this morning. See if there's any froth in it. Yep. So if you can see that, that's started since we've put the shower in. So, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think that's protein. Do you think? I'll scoop it up. So this is going into the skimmer. I'll just give that a quick clean off. Preferably don't do what I did and just drop it. Oh, 
Hotel. What I've been doing is just scooping that out as well. You know what? So I don't know if that's a good or bad, having all that froth. do that later I can't do it with one hand while I'm filming so yeah back in shower is doing absolutely fine like I said we've got to finish the um, top of the pond putting the cap on and then look at sorting the roof out putting um a roof pagoda over the top again um bit more bit more nicer to look at than the next one last year we we put one up really quick and didn't like it so this is going to do them with the fancy edging posts on the sides and then we'll decide what roof to put on so this is august now I noticed it got dark last night at half nine, which makes me feel sad that winter or autumn is just around the corner. And the garden's looking nice. That's it, just a quick update. It'll be another beautiful day today in North Wales. So, see you next time.